This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit, and today I'm going to talk about honesty. Yesterday I shared that one of the gifts that I have is intimacy, being aware of the subtle thoughts and emotions that are going on within myself and I realize that when I'm talking about tuning into what your unique gifts are what I've learned about for myself is that the gifts we have gifts that I have often come with aspects of our personality that we might struggle with or have difficulty with and it's because we are so in tune to that particular aspect we're so focused on it. We're so it's so important to us that we end up strengthening that aspect of ourselves. So for me, with an important part of what I do as an artist or living my life. With intimacy, it has to do with looking at myself with honesty. And that isn't always the easiest thing to do. And the kind of honesty that I'm talking about, especially when I'm talking about it in relation to creating art, is not this getting it right, being right, the kind that uh, that person's so brutally honest. And that's all, that's the kind of honesty that's formed around this notion of getting it right, being in control. Really, the kind of honesty that I'm talking about is more about freedom and tuning into what feels good. What I've found for myself is my emotions never, <laughs> never lie. Sometimes my thoughts, my beliefs, my ideas I have... are always true. But if I'm paying attention to how I feel, pretty much can get to the truth within myself quite quickly. But there's a lot of beliefs and ideas that are going on inside of me all the time. You know, it's funny, I pick this topic of honesty and I was, I typically will, you know, roll around the idea in my head while I'm practicing Tai Chi in the morning and I found myself Each time I went into thinking about it, the concept, of honesty, I found myself getting bogged down in my head. And then I had the thought, well, why don't you just paint today, Tony, and talk about what it is you're painting. Be present with it.
really think that's where honesty probably reveals itself is in the present moment. That sure is, it's important to look for honesty within concepts and beliefs. When you pay attention to how you feel while you're painting or in life, I think truth real, really reveals itself. Right now I'm starting to just look at what's happening as I explore these different colors. I really want to play with subtle colors today. So you see that little blue that just happened there? Just a little white with blue and I like how it, that and that created this space here where this is in between that. So these are the sorts of things that I just really enjoy in my painting. Playing with, playing with how the paint sits on top of it. Each, you can get the paint to sit on top. And I'm going to just paint a little bit. And as things kind of happen with this painting, I'm going to talk about it. But for now, I'm just going to explore. I dipped into some darker colors. All this is kind of light. I've noticed with these paintings, I tend to move pretty quickly, try and get, get to something. quick, make something happen. It's interesting to me and it's probably more interesting to watch. And that kind of happens quickly. There is a part of me that enjoys just to play around with these little subtleties. Like I like that, that little thing and, and maybe bringing in something a little heavier, that little light whoosh. See what happens when I bring in something, I don't know, darker there. Different way of handling the brush. Like this little feathery thing that's just happening there. These are the sorts of things when you play with the abstraction, you realize how many different qualities you can create just with playing with the brushwork. It's a time where I handled everything kind of the same, and it was it was coming from a desire to control what I was creating. So all my brushwork ended up being very similar. When I started to lighten up and pay attention to how I feel while painting. That quality changed. Freshness came in. Paintings became more interesting too. To me. You know, sometimes you like an aspect of a painting. So you want to leave it alone. But as the painting changes, maybe a thing you originally liked changes along with it. So you can get rid of it. You don't need to hold on to it if it's no longer working. I'm going to hold on to this area though. Maybe develop something out of it. These little blues, like these different colored blues that are happening. That feels a little more purplish to me, a purplish blue. I 
like working with light to Sometimes I just get to a place where I want to just really open it up. Let's see what happens with that. Maybe the paint's a little heavy. My trusty spatula. Instead of removing that paint, I'm just going to smush it around. See what happens there. Nice little greenish yellow that just happened there. Some crisp quality to the paint using the spatula. Like that. Oh, there's some intense green happening there. That's kind of cool. Now what happens when I I'll go over top of that? I don't want it to feel too contrived. Maybe bring in, allow the brush to kind of create that effect. That was kind of cool. Bring some white back over top of that. I don't know. Sometimes I just go back and forth with some colors until it just starts to, uh, the color feels good. So, you know, I put that white in there. I didn't like it. A lot of times it's about testing things out. And getting back to the honesty thing. Honesty comes to me in that present moment. So what does that mean when I'm painting? Well, I might have an idea about what I want to do. And then I put it on there, put it on the painting. And then I pay attention to how I feel inside. And that is telling me something. Telling me something about the painting. It's telling me something about myself. You know, in conversations with people, you can do the same sort of thing. You can allow yourself to say stuff, but pay attention to how you feel when you're saying it. And allow yourself to adjust what you're saying. Maybe it sometimes turns into not saying anything at all. Your emotions will reveal the tr truth to you the more you pay attention to them. I really like this. This is kind of a nice little painting here. I think I'm going to, well, let's see here. One little blop like that. Might open it up. Nice. All right. So play around with 
your own honesty by tuning into how you feel. Get out your brushes, play with it, have fun with it. It's not about being right. It's not about being in control. It's about being selfishly in tune to how you feel. Have fun with it. I'll see you tomorrow.